Assalamu alaikum. I welcome you back after these holidays and uh, I hope you had very good time with your family and friends. And if you remember, last time I sent you a paper, a reading paper. And I believe you went through the paper, you read it very carefully and tried to learn uh, the dif difficult words, etc. And today we are going to do the same paper, guided work. This is guided work. And the reason is you are going to be sent another paper today. And that will be your assessment and do it very carefully. So today I will be guiding you how to read questions carefully and how to read the passage carefully and how to answer. Okay. There are guidelines within the passage for you to follow. Okay. And if you have read the passage, uh, there are certain words that you might have come across. Uh, for example, <clears throat> uh, the first word was wrecked. If something is wrecked, it is damaged, destroyed. Okay. Then coral reef. Coral reef is the rocky coastline which is generally shallow and there is a lot of uh, life, marine life. And in most of the uh, movies or you may say documentaries about nature, you might have seen so many uh, divers going there and uh, doing their research work. Then abandoned, abandoned means the left. Okay, then this word, please look at this word. What is peer? Peer means to try to look at something or see something when there is poor visibility when the visibility is poor, peer. For example, if you enter a dark room from light, you will not be able to see clearly for initial some moments. Similarly, if there is fog, if there is rain, you will have to exert your eyes. You will have to put strain on your eyes to see what it is. <clears throat> then, the, then similar words. See, it shows your ability. For example, you, somebody may say, teacher, write visibly. I can't see it. Okay. Then the word is peep. If you try to look at something through an opening, you peep through it. Okay, then the word is peek. If you peek at somebody, you look at that person stealthily, secretly, quickly. Then glance. If you glance at something, you have a brief, quick look at something. Okay. But glimpse, this also means to have a look of something or somebody which is very brief, short. Uh, for example, <clears throat> your mother says, have you ever met him or her and you say no mama I just had a glimpse of her at a wedding party okay then the word is stare if you if somebody keeps on looking at somebody continuously which is actually uh, anti-social attitude and rude. It is rude to stare at people. Then 
bird's eye view a very quick brief for example if somebody asks you have you read the book the new book you say no i just had a bird's eye view of the first chapter it means you just skipped through the first chapter then peruse this word is peruse peruse means to read carefully okay then squint if you squint you close your eyes because perhaps the light is too much and you try to focus on something uh, then the please uh, there are the words for example smear smear is a dirty mark we use another word for example smudge smudge is another word and there is another word blow for example accidentally you you drop something <clears throat> maybe a book a letter or paper and it gets uh, dirty marks so you can say it was smudge blow then the word is uncanny if something is uncanny it is strange unusual there are other words as actually so many of the words then <clears throat> vicious evil grandeur beauty overwhelming strong overpowering overcoming sense of human frailty now please listen whenever the examiner says what does this mean Let, later in the question you will see uh, the examiner asks you to tell or explain what this expression means sense of human frailty generally such questions are own words questions and you have to rephrase that expression if you have read the passage or if you go to the passage you will see sense in the context means awareness knowledge knowledge or awareness human sometimes it becomes very difficult to find a synonym for a very common everyday word for example when we use the word human the words you can use can be peoples men's women's and you also uh, bio students among you they know there is another word homo sapiens uh, but you have to use some common ordinary everyday word so the expression will will mean awareness knowledge understanding of man's weakness frailty means weakness bellow when you bellow you shout you cry you call out you speak at the top of your voice then lumber if somebody is lumbering the person is walking awkwardly but there are other words for describing somebody's style of walking for example stroll stroll is a casual walk okay then amber uh, then there is another word saunter saunter is also slow casual walk and there is a word trot if somebody is trotting 
the person is running at a moderate speed, which is in between brisk walk and running, trot, okay? Uh, then word thrash and whip. It means beat, scanty, little, wearily, tired, rattle. Rattle is a uh, sound word when metallic or wooden things, hard things, touch, hit, collide. The, the noise they produce is rattle or clatter, hole, pull in the context, it will mean undignified descent, awkward, undignified, undignified means in the context, awkward, fall, descent was fall, withstand, resist, tolerate, unprovoked, assault unjust, uncalled for, assault, attack. Haven, haven is any sheltered, safe place. Now please come to the questions. The first question is, the wrecked boat outside the coral reefs that ring the island. What does ringed mean here? Now please, if you read the word ring, <clears throat> you already know that words have two different levels of meaning, okay? One level of meaning or one meaning is literal meaning, okay? And literal meaning is, we call it denote. And the one is suggested meaning. By suggested meaning, we call it Connote, connotation. By connote, we mean what the word suggests. So the word ring, ring is something that is round in shape. Okay. And when you go to the question, for example, the wrecked boat lay outside the coral reefs that ringed the island and of course you cannot use the word ring okay but you can use what is suggested it can mean go around it can mean also circled okay it circled it covered surrounded all these answers will be correct <clears throat> The next question is, what made the divers decide return to the surface at once? If you go to the context, to the paragraph, you will see something happened all of a sudden, all of a sudden, which made them decide to go back to the boat. And if you read the passage, and you will see there is a word used. For example, undoubtedly Angelo was beating. Line number seven, please turn to line number seven. He says, Angelo was beating out some sort of emergency signal. So this is the answer. The emergency signal. 
then the next question is the cloud of the cyclone seem to drive a curtain across the sky what effect of the cloud is described here by drawing a curtain across the sky <coughs> now please listen what is effect by effect we mean and you already know that in the new format of your comprehension paper you have last question which means uh, in which you are asked meaning and effect okay effect means what the writer wants to convey why the writer has used that expression what is the purpose of using that expression so here in this context <clears throat> drawing a curtain across the sky is suggesting that the sudden cloud was stopping the light to come coming or you could say it spread darkness all around it stopped the light it blocked out the sun <clears throat> okay the next question is write down one word from the paragraph that best describes the noise of the wind i believe most of you have found the word because this was not a difficult question so please do tell me in your answer that you did how many questions correctly so if you have found the word the word was shriek shriek was the word <clears throat> now please the next word uh, the next question the power of the wind made their hearts sing at the sense of human frailty explain in, in your own words what the sense of human frailty means so this question has already been done i told you what it means okay <clears throat> the next question is why did it seem essential to take the heavy burdens with them in such a dangerous situation now please listen the method is go to the words heavy burdens go to the expression heavy burdens and there you will see why they carry the heavy burdens <coughs> and it is written there hey they carry the heavy burden are the motor boats because they were new and expensive now please the next question when they first came ashore came ashore means when they came on land on the beach <clears throat> the three companions were immediately 
in a position of acute discomfort oh what you have to find you have to find the difficulties they faced and if you read around the paragraph you will see two things have been mentioned they had to go through one is sand was blowing or hurting them especially their eyes it is written there clouds of sand into their faces stinging our flesh so this was the first discomfort and the second was he continues and keeping balance on the sand was difficult because they were carrying heavy burdens and the sand was soft and this made keeping balance difficult <clears throat> the next question is the author seems to be comparing the palm the palm tree to a human being in its failure to resist the wind right two words single words he uses which make this comparison now please listen generally the writer uses such words in questions single words or consecutive words if they are single words it means they are separate and if they are together they are consecutive okay now the focus is he is comparing the palm tree to a human being it means he has used words generally associated with the behavior with the reaction of people human beings or they are the words uh, which are personification or the they are the attributes of people so there are two words which have been used so the first one was verily okay and the second was now look please look at the passage i saw the first palm tree begin to go it lent out wearily so the first word is wearily exhausted by it, its efforts to resist the wind the earth around efforts okay okay and the second word should be 
fragile verily okay 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 we'll come to it later just a minute <clears throat> I think the second word should be exhausted. <clears throat> uh, then the second, the next question is lines 57 and 58 swinging in a terrible curve like the axe of a, of some fearful executioner gave the idea of speed and curving fall of the palm tree. What else do you think is implied by the author's words? Now please, uh, this expression is making or building a comparison and there is some implication and that is Jerry was in the path of the falling tree. It means he could be crushed by the falling tree. The next question is, the author tried to run fast with his face upturned. How would this help him? So this would help him because he will be able to see the falling coconuts or other things. <clears throat> Uh, please look at the next question. Explain in your own words what it was that Jerry bitterly resented. Uh, please, if you continue reading, bitterly resented. And after this, uh, you will see there is an expression that he thought it was an unprovoked assault. So this expression needs to be changed. Unprovoked means unjust, without any reason. Assault means attack. <clears throat> uh, but please, if you look at the last question, question 10. That is very important and a bit difficult. Write down the phrase the author uses in this paragraph to gain the reader's sympathy for his friends and himself. Now listen, please. Just few. Uh, please listen. Most of you will write this expression that they crept like wounded animals. But this will be wrong. Why? Because there is a verb in this phrase, expression. There is a phrase, uh, there is a verb and what kind of verb? Hey, listen. If there is a finite verb in a group of words, it cannot be a phrase. It will become a clause. So what is a finite verb? A finite verb is that form of the verb which tells us the tense of the verb. So crept, 
past tense. So this should not be there in your answer. You can, your answer is only this. If you write like wounded animals, correct. Or if you just write wounded animals, then again, this is correct answer. Okay. Thank you very much for today. Uh, but please attempt the paper you have been sent very carefully uh, because we do not have much time. Start working for the exam. Hopefully, inshallah, there will be no predicted grades next year because you have already seen what has happened. So please start working seriously and hard. Work hard. Thank you very much.